Hi everybody, Aaron Myers here of the Everyday Language Learner and I just want to take a moment to introduce you to a new tool that I've created called the Everyday Language Learner's Guide to Self-Assessment. Um, and what I want to do right now is just talk a little bit about the ideas and kind of the philosophy behind this new tool so that you can get a better understanding of just why I've created it and how it can help you. Now, uh, one of the things is in the past, we've learned languages through, and, and a lot of our learning really has been in the classroom. The teacher sets the pace, the teacher sets the direction, the teacher is the expert who can also give us an evaluation and tell us how we're doing. When we step out of that as independent language learners, we remove something that we, we often don't realize was an important part of, of the motivation and the journey of learning. And that is that expert that can guide us and lead us and give us the evaluation we need to know that we're actually progressing or not. So seeing that and having people really contact me and, and ask these questions, you know, how can I know how I'm doing? How can I measure my progress? How can I know if what I'm doing is actually working or if something else might work better. Um, getting all these questions really prompted in me uh, a desire to create something that could fill that void, that could be um, a piece that could really help independent language learners. And so in creating this, that's what I've, I've really desired to see happen. And in that, there's two really, really two sides of this evaluation piece, of this self-assessment piece. The first is really more of a traditional uh, idea and understanding of evaluation. There's two assessments that I present to you. One is to really assess your ability to use the language, and the other is to really assess your knowledge of the language. So it's looking at more like grammar structures and your understanding of, of those sorts of things. Both of those are important and both of those are uh, a good part of understanding where we're at, and especially done over time every six months or so, can indicate if we're making progress or not. Our scores will go up. If we're making progress, they'll stay the same if we're not making progress. Now, the thing that's missing in all of this and the thing that we miss not having that expert near us is someone to look at what we're doing and evaluate if it's working or if it's not. And so in this guide, I've really tried to create a secondary assessment that looks at your motivation, your environment, um, your interest level, and at your adherence to the plan. Are you sticking to the plan? Um, and in looking at all those, give you a real tool to evaluate the journey itself. Um, that way we can make adjustments. We can make adjustments on the fly. You know, two months from now we can realize that something's not working, make an adjustment, um, and move on to something else. Uh, so I've tried to create something that's not like anything I've seen, but really fills that void to help you, the language learner, the independent language learner, be able to really evaluate what you're doing and understand if you're making progress or not. So that's a little bit of the rundown of the guide. It's, it's fairly simple. I've tried to create it in a very simple to use and time considerate manner. And so once you read through the guide itself, get an understanding of how it works. Um, the actual assessment part shouldn't take more than 15, 20, 30 minutes and done once every six months or so will give you a tremendous tool to really understand how you're doing. We'll answer some of those questions and take the what I call the gut feeling method out of our evaluation where so often we're just left with a gut feeling of I feel like I'm not doing well I feel like I'm doing great. And, and really, it's just a feeling. We need more than that if we want to make educated, informed decisions about the things we're choosing to do, the activities we're choosing to do to learn the language. So that's a rundown of the Everyday Language Learner's Guide to Self-Assessment. There's more information on this page. Take a look at it all. Um, if you want to purchase it, it's pretty straightforward. It's $10, and I think it'll be well worth it. So. Good luck to you on your language learning journey and have a great day.